This invention intends to reduce the roll resistance of tires, potentially improving gas mileage. It will increase the life of tires, which will potentially reduce the enormous tire waste stream of about 1 billion car and light truck tires per year worldwide. About half of a tire's roll resistance is generated in the tread band. In each rotation, a given tread point on a tire can be observed in this way, from a lateral viewpoint. It's in a round face and then flat or straight in the footprint area. From round to flat, it passes through a corner with a tight radius. The enlargement window shows the necessary detail. Let's look at the side view of a schematized tread pattern, which at the same time is similar to some real life designs. Tread material moving in to and out of the footprint involves a hysteresis phenomenon for the flexing tread band. What happens is when the tread sections move in and out of the footprint is this. Not just uh, the tire carcass, the tread sections themselves are forced to bend one way and then the other way. The flexing of the steel supported carcass has some elasticity which retains and then releases mechanical energy. Unfortunately, the tread material largely adds flexibility of the viscose kind, which means mechanical energy, essentially fuel, is transformed into heat and that means roll resistance is created. As about half of a tire's roll resistance is associated with the tread belt, and most of that correlates to the actual tread thickness and tire longevity, all other variables like rubber composition, belt design, etc. being equal. Let's look for a moment at the train of thought that provided the clue. Previously, an improved utilization and understanding of the tire flexibility hysteresis had improved the conceptualization of zero pressure tires. The shifting of inefficient viscose flexibility, which dominates the airless Michelin wheel design, with its predominantly squeeze and heat action, to the elastic flexibility of the airless super wheel, which has low roll resistance. Towards an innovative tire tread. Here is how the new tire tread design works based on tread sections that are undercut. This introduction of the undercut tread 
allows to make the tread thicker, improve longevity while reducing roll resistance and generating moderate fuel savings. The undercuts increase the tread area that is not connected to the tread sections between tread section and tire carcass. This gives the tread underlying belt more freedom to flex and therefore reduce roll resistance. For reasons of traction, every tire needs a certain footprint area. This is where the undercuts of the tread go shut. The tread blocks are stabilized and supported. Keep in mind, the records of tire failures show tread separations, but show no incidences of individual tread sections flying out of a tread band. So there seems to be some overkill in the structural integration of tread sections with the tread band. Let's take advantage of that in some future tire designs. Treads can become thicker Tires will last longer. A worldwide annual waste stream in excess of one billion old car and light truck tires that are not retreaded could be reduced substantially, and this while improving gas mileage a few percentage points. More fossil fuel will be saved in the manufacturing of longer lasting tires. The conceptual innovation largely allows to improve roll efficiency without replacing carbon plaque through more expensive components. And this with potentially only minor considerations and development costs for manufacturing because of the similarity to existing tire tread designs. For comments, please contact Mechanical Innovation at ykenet.ca